Hey, welcome back. It's been a few days. Sorry about that. Um, I noticed something when reviewing some of my games on both chess.com and Lee Chess. Um, one of the advantages of a paid account on chess.com, as you can see right here, is the unlimited use of the game review feature, which I have <sighs> kindly circled with pointed an arrow at it on the screen there. After you win or lose a game, you can click game review. It'll go through a little processing procedure and then it'll show you. You had three blunders, two mistakes, a missed win, you made the best move so many times, and you had a brilliant move. Um, however, the analysis, just the plain old analysis, is free, as far as I can tell, even to free accounts. Uh, unlimited. But it's tempting, when you have the paid account, to use the game review uh, all the time because it tells you blunders and etc. Now I'm gonna show you a couple times where it's made a mistake. Now in this game um, my opponent playing with the white pieces played this rook move here and the game review had initially listed the next move as an in, uh, inaccuracy but when I let the engine run here in this analysis See, the game review feature is actually this page where it says that uh, knight to f4 check is inaccurate. But if you go to the analysis tab, again, which you can use unlimited with a free account, and let the engine run on the move before that, it shows knight to f4 check is the top, is the top move for the person playing black. It changes its mind a few times a couple times it says knight 7 to b6, rook c8, and it goes back and forth. But it ends up deciding that that's the best move. It's still marked with the question mark as inaccurate because of the game review feature. But if you didn't ever run the game review and just clicked analysis, you wouldn't have all those uh, red and yellow and orange uh, highlights there, and it wouldn't say it's inaccurate. It would just show what the top engine move is. So anyway, I noticed this when running my review. I was like, wait, why is that inaccurate? I went back a move and waited for the engine to decide. And after it ran, mine is set to a depth of 22 for some reason. I think you can set it higher, but I don't have a supercomputer. So. But at this depth, that's the top engine move. And this depth is deeper than the depth used by the game review feature. Now, another example is in this game. And I believe it's a couple of moves here in the future. Um, I moved, I, I captured down here, and then, well, even for the opponent, my opponent uh, chose rook A to C1 here. And that says that's inaccurate. But if you let the engine move, I mean, the engine run here, it says that's the best move for them. And now, letting, letting the engine change its mind a few times here, Oh, sorry, I thought it was this one, but no. On the, it was their move, on the opponent's move. I was like, wait, why is that not a good move? But that is actually the move that the engine wants them to make. And so my advice is to avoid the review tab, uh, except for maybe just a bare beginner uh, to find out how many of your moves were book moves and what opening it was. Um, and, you know, sometimes they'll, have, they'll let you retry the mistakes. Uh, you know, this was a mistake, you can click retry, and what should I have done instead? I can click a hint, it was a king move. Uh, it actually wants me to castle here. Um, and so it's handy for that. But what it's not handy for all the time is determining what's the best move. And again, this is an example here where my opponent looked at the board and decided that was the best move. And sure enough, the engine agreed, but the low depth running for the game review feature did not agree. And I've had the same issue with uh, Lee Chess, which is cropped oddly here. Let's see if I can fix that real quick on the fly. Let's uh, do that and open the top a little bit. Their board is positioned slightly differently on the screen. We can bring this up here. We don't need all that extra stuff. There we go. And here, we made a couple of moves that were probably not perfect. But you can see right now we're on move 45. But when we get to move 48, 
and I haven't gotten that far yet for a reason. It says H5 lost forced checkmate sequence. Rook capture C6 check was best. Okay, but watch when I turn on the engine, we're going to let the engine run a second and it's changing its mind and deciding what's going on here. And it says white has checkmate coming up. Uh, the king goes to e8, which actually was not the best move. Okay. Now that says mate in 11, if I make the right moves. But I don't make the right move. But it's still mate in 11. Now king goes to e7. And here is where I did h5. But now watch this. Right up here, h5 is the top move and says mate in 10. But the first time I ran this analysis, that was not the case. When I clicked to h5, it was like, wait, mate in 9. But one move earlier, it didn't say this. It said h5 would not get you there. But now it's suggesting h5 because I let the engine run for a little while. And this is at a depth 50, it says, whatever that means. But letting the engine run is better than this quick review, which used a low depth, thinking that h5 lost my ability to do checkmate. What? But no, it's not. Now it realizes, oh wait, he's got forced checkmate here in a few moves. This rook is protected and guards these files. The king is trapped in a corner. I'm going to get a queen in a few moves. And sure enough, that's what happened. One other game where the quick review was a little messed up is right here, which is just, we're on move four. Uh, the opponent blunders here. And let's turn on the engine and see what it wants me to do. Okay, it wants me to do c3 or e5, um, all of which are good moves. But look right here what, what I did. What I did was castle, and it says inaccuracy. Castling was best. Yeah, the review says, oh, instead of castling to the king side, you should have castled to the king side. I actually reported this as a bug. But my point is, you can't completely trust the quick review or these immediate... Uh, where they try to translate the engine stuff into English uh, or whatever language it's translating into for you. It might not be English. But anyway, let me turn that engine off. Uh, hopefully that was explanatory. I've noticed this more often on chess.com than on Lee Chess. If I click back over there, this, the board will be mispositioned. But anyway, go to the analysis tab and check on there to show lines or whatever, show two or three lines, let the engine run, and see, go back a move and see if that's the move that it suggested. Because sometimes it is, even if it already called it a mistake. Anyway, I hope you find that helpful. I have, and we'll see you next time.